Coming to you live and uncensored. This is the Hype Podcast. I'm oh so fresh with my co host, yet to be named. That's me. We talk about everything from new gadgets, gizmos, politics, movies, and music. And our very own personal stories, because you know a motherfucker has to keep it real. Fuck it, I'm not pulling audio. And the reason that the door is open is because uh, my my cousin. What do you What do you mean you're not pulling audio? You were just in the middle of pulling audio. I don't know. We started talking, and I'm just like, you know what? Everybody knows what happened to goddamn Roseanne Barr. Did dude, you know? dude, I just got done fucking. If you don't, you. If, if you don't know, you're a mix between I a Muslim. Just- <laughs> you're a mix between a Muslim and somebody from Planet of the Apes. Dude, I just got done fucking going on a rant about how people are getting mad and they don't even know what the fuck she said and now you're just gonna sit here and be like well I'm not fucking pulling audio I'm pulling audio cause it's taking too long fuck Jesus the fuck is up I show up late on hey. purpose and hey. you fucking hey. you know, oh I'm not pulling audio cause it's taking too long we're waiting on you now waiting on you shit you could pull audio wait what's going on I, I could I could but you this is your gear and your laptop and your responsibility cause I'm lazy this shit admit it. It's That's first, true. It's the first step. You know what else I'm willing to admit? This is the Hype Podcast. I am the host with no name. Where are our fucking applause, bitch? That was fucking lame. Hey. Jesus Christ. Hey, we- I just woke up. This is the Hype Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're such a cunt. I fucking hate you. We are kicking it with you every single Sunday right here on the Hype. And we actually have no uh, no hype right now. Oso is very downtrodden and melancholy for some no, reason. No, because I was, I was up late fighting racism. What? You? Yeah, I was w- Were you in your fucking I mean, Black Panther outfit? No, no. no, no, no <laughs> if, 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 if you're listening right now and you happen to be racist, I was fighting for your rights. Jeez. Oh, you were fighting for my rights? Yeah, yeah. I, I, you uh, pointed at me when you said that, which uh, you know I can't really argue that. Fact. I, I embody every white man in your punk ass. That's what it Pause. is. Pause. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. Have to, I don't, have, I don't want. I don't, I don't want you embodying anything that has to do with I, my ass. I don't have to say pause. It's not happening to me. Yeah. No, that's why I said pause. You're welcome. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean shit. Your life don't matter. So before we even get into this shit. I got to point out, we got a special guest today. Mr. Jason Deba is on the podcast. How you doing today, bro? I didn't know where you're using real names. Yeah, yeah, we are. Okay. Because, right. I mean, that is your government name. What, yeah. what would you like to be called today? No, no, Jason's good. Uh, are you sure? Yes. So when your boss hears it, oh, no, yeah, that was him for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that was him. <laughs> fire this sure. motherfucker right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, fire that son of a bitch. <laughs> and and your, your work address is in the name uh, of the company? I work kidding. for ABC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Roseanne Barr's agent. I heard ABC has some openings now. Yeah. Just a L- few. Huh? Lots of comedy writers, actors, talent, PAs, directors. Also, got to say, my man Junior's in the building. He, we had to bump you as a guest, you know. Uh, we, you. we don't. Told we, you. I won. Uh, I won. Yeah, I, I won the bet. Hey, we don't. Uh, we don't believe in affirmative action over here. So, <laughs> yeah. what? They a believe white, in affirmative black action. We, yeah, we don't believe in affirmative <laughs> action. So a white guy just got the job. Well, yeah. I stole the guy's job. <laughs> I have enough perks already. Anyway. You what? I have enough perks right now. Okay, you got enough. You got enough perks. Okay. <laughs> no, because Junior is our. He's our NBA expert. Dude, do we even need an expert after the shit J.R. Smith pulled? I could have commentated that whole fucking game, dude. Are you shitting me? What? I mean, poor J.R. No, no, poor J.R. You know he got a fat fucking paycheck to do that retarded shit. Somebody hey. paid that motherfucker off. Don't you even what? tell me that he accidentally fucking what, what did that they call shit. Him now? They him what do they call him? J.R. Hennessy now? <laughs> <laughs> they call him Henny Smith. <laughs> That's what it is, Henny Smith. <laughs> That's a street name, Henny Smith. Dude... There's no, there's no fucking way. There's no way that he was just like, oh man, we weren't up by ten. I didn't know the game was tied. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So Millions just, of mean, dollars to so, not be able to do math. So just in case you've been living under a rock, I haven't seen a meme in the last, I don't know, like three, four days. <laughs> NBA player and no good looking motherfucker because J.R. Smith looks like a dude. If I saw J.R. Smith hang out in front of the liquor store, I'd be like, I'm not going in that goddamn store. <laughs> And he's just that kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? He just has that, he has that, that freaking look to him. <laughs> yeah, he's got. He looks like a fucking drug pusher outside of Walmart, dude. He yeah, really yeah. I see him. I go Negro with low, low morals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, it, 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 it's just. It's like one of those. Uh, 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 you know, one of those. One of those tales they tell you. You know, like the prodigal son. Like, yo, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> so uh, uh, on Thursday, 
LeBron James, who I, I I've said many times, is never gonna get the fucking goat status. Now, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a talking me. Let it build. <laughs> <laughs> so, on Thursday, LeBron James. This is the only time we're going to use this music. A.K.A. Big Taste. This is the only time we're going to use this music for you, asshole, if you listen to the show. That's true. Because you don't get Jordan music because you're not Jordan. LeBron James, the self-proclaimed greatest of all time, scores 49 points in regulation to almost win a game between him and the Golden State Warriors. And with 4.7 seconds left on the clock (laughs) in a tie game, his teammate... J.R. Smith, J.R., I got paid a big paycheck, and now my my shooting percentage is half. (laughs) This motherfucker grabs the rebound from a free throw, which he could have easily just thrown back up into the hoop. He was at the basket. He was at the basket. We're not saying he got this rebound and he was down the court. There wasn't 90 feet between him and the basket. There there was less than two. This motherfucker, this this could be a Me Too moment. You know what I'm saying? He was that fucking close to the fucking hoop. And this motherfucker <laughs> runs back out to the three-point line. Not No, not even the three-point line. He ran back out to the fucking hash mark. That's like three-quarters of the fucking way to half court. Like he was going to check in out the game. Yeah. <laughs> he was going to go hand the ball to his coach like, we won, guys. Good job. This motherfucker dribbles, dribbles it out like he won the championship. And motherfucker's going to rush the fucking floor like it's the fucking 80s. <laughs> or no, you, know what, you know what cracked me up? He gets all the way out there, and then he turns and, like, fires a pass into the fucking corner. Of, what was it, Kyle Corver or some shit? That, that launched up the last second shot, and he stood there like, oh, I'm telling you, oh this, you, you didn't make that shot? I'm telling you, this motherfucker, you could see in his mind, he had a moment of truth. He's like, oh, shit, <laughs> the game's not over. And then he tries to pass the shit. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and then he, then he tries to act like, he tried to act like, oh, uh. For the whole week, he, he tried, well, the whole couple days, he's like, oh, you know, that's not what happened. You know, I knew what the score was. And LeBron James had to walk out of the press conference because they were asking LeBron about it. Like, I mean, that is one of the dumbest things to happen in sports in a long fucking time. <laughs> Dude, you want to you know why? You want to know why? LeBron is not as good as Jordan is because Jordan would have punched him in the fucking face right there on the court. Right there. Right there. The ending buzzer would have sounded to go into overtime. And oh my God. <laughs> I will fuck you up, Angela. That shit would have... Jordan... Yeah, because Jordan... There's many stories about Jordan fucking punching roommates. Yeah. Yeah, dude. No, he would have fucking punched him in the mouth and J.R. Smith would not have played in overtime. Yeah, let me start the music back up. The great <laughs> Michael Jordan <laughs> would have socked that motherfucker right there. <laughs> Or, or handed him a fucking mix. Or if, if Jordan did not beat him down right there, Jordan would have gave him one of those looks. Yeah. LeBron was like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. Jordan would have just been like, "All right." Jordan would have gave him a fucking two piece, dude. <laughs> that mother, that motherfucker would have showed up at the game, at the game with a fucking black. Hold eye. on, hold on. Speak it up. Cut that shit off. Speaking of giving a motherfucker a two piece, I gotta call out your little fucking roommate right here. Because oh, when I no, when I came to fucking visit you guys at the club. We're sitting there hanging out, and I went to go say goodbye, right? And we're, we're in the middle of the crowd on the dance floor, and he walks up, and I go to give him daps and say, see you later. He gives me the one-two to the chest, just like joking around, and I'm looking around, and it's a club full of brothers. And I'm like, look, you're about to incite a fucking riot here. You can't, you can't just do that. These guys see you. They're all going to jump me. And if the bouncers see you, we're both getting thrown out here on our fucking face. So, so check this out. You're stereotyping again. What do you mean I'm saying? It's if, Vancouver. If, you're, if you were in Vancouver and get into a fight with a white dude with a whole bunch of black dudes that don't know you, then fuck you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're just, just going to let yeah, you. Yeah, no, they're, they're going to fuck me, and I don't want that. No, they're going to they're gonna let you They're gonna let you fucking square up. They, they let you square up. No, please. They're not down like that. Please. You, you grew up out here. You know they're not down like that. Yeah, but they're not from here. These are, these are the Portland kids. You saw the dude all dressed in red. The Portland kids, they don't give a fuck either. I grew up in Portland. They don't get no fucking fucks. They're just like, where's the white girls? <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> it is more of a priority to get a white girl than it is to save his black ass. <laughs> <laughs> Although, no, he, did, no, he, he did have on his Black Panther suit, so no, I, don't, no, I don't know. He, he, he told you Wakanda? Yeah. <laughs> he, he totally had the Wakanda suit on. Now, now if you guys were outside and they had already secured white girls 
Then, <laughs> then there's hostility. That's why they're shooting out there. That's it's that's like I've already true. secured this white girl, and I plan to take her with me. Oh, but he's, they picking on a brother. <laughs> they picking on a brother. You know what I'm saying? Because they he woke up, he he left his house going, I'm on. Get some white pussy and I'm going to start some shit. Those are the two things I want to get done tonight. <laughs> and get drunk in the meantime. Of, and he's like, I've only checked off one of my two things on my list. Fuck it, white guy. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, why is there a whole new list of fucking bouncers at that club? I've gone know. for a month and everybody's gone. I, I don't, you know, if I if I criticize the fact that they've changed bouncers, they'll criticize the fact that I keep playing the same songs. I, I just let it be. <laughs> I mean, because you know, I, 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 it, it wasn't one of the newer bouncers. Yeah, I'll tell you straight up, and they, he he proves why I do not fuck with bouncers, because he came up to me and started requesting songs, like off the off the what? I mean, I love Run the Jewels. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Run the yeah. Jewels, like my favorite, currently one of my favorite rap groups, if not the favorite, top five, whatever the fuck. What you like them more than the Amigos? <laughs> and I, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm, no, no, <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just gonna go on with my story. He comes up and he starts telling me to play this shit. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't tell you to get nobody in the goddamn building. I don't tell you what position to stand in. <laughs> it's like an unwritten rule between DJs and bouncers that you don't tell me shit. Yeah. And I I, I pissed him off the other day because he's like, Yeah, tell him to wrap it up. I know when the fuck it, to wrap it up. What the fuck? Yeah. Was it was he talking about like condoms or the music? He's talking about the fucking music. Jesus. And I don't want to I don't want to give the club too much play, but also shout out to that fucking rapper who tried to give me his whole catalog of CDs. Was it the same dude from Friday? It's the same dude from Friday. I've known that dude for years. That dude will get your phone number and tuck, text you a YouTube link <laughs> every day. <laughs> dedication you got a lot of hustle dude you know what hustle but i'm like i'm a goddamn dj what's a youtube link gonna do for me you know what the <laughs> fuck is a cd gonna do for me you know what you, you gotta know, do i, I you don't need to start I, giving out your the wrong phone number like people you don't like I, and I, just let them text links to random motherfuckers but you know as as a as an entrepreneur that's a risk you have to take I'm not gonna. No. Miss, I'm not gonna miss on a couple dollars just because I gotta deal with a fucking promo rapper guy. Dude, I've seen you give back five dollar bills to people requesting songs because you didn't want to fucking play the song. Well, I'm probably the only DJ that would be like that. Really, he really wiped that five dollar bill across his ass and hit it back. <laughs> handed it back. <laughs> like, what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> you act like this is a life changer. Dude. You know, I am not. I, I was not sent here from fucking Goodwill Industries. I, I'm, I'm gonna be okay. No, so let, let me let me set the scene. And I also has had a, many many of tales from the DJ booth like this. Friday, I stop in to see him. This is before you know I got punched in the chest before you know by a shackalicious. Oh, and your, and your little goodbye. Yeah, yeah. It is was that a me too moment too? It dude, I felt violent. I'm yeah. glad. I, I'm just hoping. You know, I'm clean after that. But uh, so oh, he is what from was w- that anyway? I think that's your keys. Is oh, he oh, is. Well. He is from Wakanda in Africa. In he 80s. dropped the shackles of oppression. Yeah, but, <laughs> you know, I, I, I just, I just that, that was funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before, I mean, before before anybody gets offended, yeah, I mean, you do need to get checked. I mean, Wakanda, Africa, AIDS, AIDS is real shit over there. That is oh, that is some real shit over there. That's not being mean. <laughs> that that's not true. being hateful mm-hmm. because I'm an American. Remember that, because <laughs> I'm American. I'm American. Remember I don't know how you had to whisper that. I'm American, America, bitch. No, so Friday night, I'm standing up in the DJ booth, you know, trying to be cool, and this fucking dude walks over. He's, a, he's oh, shout out to security because they offered to remove you. Cool. Did they really? <laughs> <laughs> For once, yeah, yeah. So I'm standing up there, and this little halfy comes up. And he's like, he's like, hey man, hey, hey, can I, can I just get that mic for just like one minute, bro? No, when he says happy, he means a mixed race individual. I mean, I, I feel more justified to insult him in that way because George Jefferson did it all the time on the Jeffersons. So <laughs> I feel like as a black guy, I have the right to. Now, however you feel about him, you can write in to the show because we don't have a fucking phone number. But this quote unquote, let's just say Lil Drake. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So little Drake walks up and he's just like, hey, hey man, can, yo, can I get that mic for just like one minute, bro? He's like, I got the beat on me, bro. I'm an artist right now. Can I just, you know, and I'm like, I'm not even the DJ, man. Oh, yo, yo, can you ask him? I was like, no, <laughs> no, I can't. 
He's like, oh, oh, okay, okay. Yo, you got like a Facebook? And I was like, no, because I'm not the DJ, like I just said. I mean, it, 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 you don't want the DJ to come over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was basically the gist of it, because I've known you long enough. And there, there is two things that I know better. Number one, you don't ever take requests for Oso. Number one, you let you fucking direct them to the DJ. And number two, you don't ever take somebody soliciting to Oso oh Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. I, I. I'll give it to you. You got that. You got that. You got that just right. Thank you. Thank you. I do what I can. Hey, if I get to anything right in my life, it's that. Yeah, you never take requests for me. You never let somebody fucking solicit me like it's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are, are, are you a rapper? Or are you are you selling? Uh, are you selling Amway? Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> are, are you? Are you? Are, 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 I mean, rappers come up to the booth like they're selling a fucking pure romance. Yeah. <laughs> a, I got a deal you have never seen I, before, I, bro. I, 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 <laughs> it's not a pyramid scheme. It's yeah, not. A pyramid. I, yeah, yeah, not. At all. I, yeah, it's I mean, just multi-level marketing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It worked for Bernie Madoff. <laughs> yeah, 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 look, yeah, look what I got him. No, but this motherfucker, yeah, he really, he really. I, I don't understand how they feel like. Oh yeah, let me just jump on the mic. Like I trust you. Yeah, <laughs> I trust you. Dude, you dude, could, I've, I've known you for going on like what fifteen years now, almost, yeah. and I barely trust you on a microphone in public. Like that. That's how dude, trusting somebody on a microphone in public is. That's tough. That's a huge thing. That's a big thing. Yeah. Because like, you, you could say some racist like Roseanne. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> There's no taking that back. There's no rewind <laughs> button on that thing. There really, there really isn't. And you know what? You know what really cracks me up about that is the fact that people still don't know what the fuck she said. Like, all of them that are just mad to be fucking mad, they don't even know, like, what she said. Plain uh, and simple. They're like, oh my god, she made some racist. Peace out. She made some racist comments. No, I'm like, what are the racist comments? We're like, oh, um, you know, you can Google it. I'm like, no, motherfucker, you over here ranting. <laughs> so, 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 sorry, 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 I just, I just saw uh, the look on your face just uh, now. I uh, get, yeah, there was there, there was some traffic in my home. <laughs> <laughs> but, Trafficking. I, but, but, I want I want you to know I won that bet. By the way, that didn't expect. Yes, yeah, you, yeah. you did. You did win the bet. <laughs> Uh, you know, we on a future episode, <laughs> we'll break down what's just happened to my no, no name, one, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, so basically, let me. Uh, I can pull this up. I don't. I don't think I can actually route it. I don't think I can actually get it into my my thing. Pause. Um. <laughs> While you're doing that, I I have a question for you. Something no, don't start, don't start, don't don't get off topic. Stay where you're at because I don't. I, you're gonna you're about to ask me some shit. Yes, I am. That's that's just going to be totally not not okay. No, it was gonna be, dude. I'm gonna ask you some legitimate shit. You were telling me before the show that you have a new house guest, and I want to know. No, no. And I want to know where the fuck this little varmint came into play do you guys just have like burger king in your trash can constantly because you have a giant fucking mama raccoon running around your house right now i do and i don't know why how do you know it's a mama raccoon because they get huge dude they're like the size of fucking pit bulls this motherfucker's big yeah and you know it's and we actually had a little incident i think i was was it yesterday or the day before i get up I go out to have my uh, my morning smoke before my morning constitution. Yeah. And your morning bill of rights? No, actually, it was in the evening. It was before I went to Six West. That's what threw me off. Okay. I mean, this is like, it's and sun's kind of going down. It's not dusk. This motherfucker's standing on the goddamn fence. Just standing there. Like, like two feet posted? Bald eagle status? Or is he just like mounted uh, well, like four, a cat? Well, four feet. Kind of cat. Doing some cat shit on the fucking fence. Okay. Yeah, and raccoons uh, are... No, I'm sorry. Uh, raccoons are they're nocturnal. Everybody knows that. But it, the ones that come out in the twilight, those are the ones that are like badass, next level raccoons. Yeah, because it was like good. The, the Dracula that comes out during the sunlight. <laughs> yeah. I Because mean, he, he looked at me like, you good? And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> and I look back at him like, are you good? <laughs> he said, yeah, I'm good. And he climbs on the roof and climbs over the fucking house. Because, I mean, he really looked at me like, you don't want a problem, do you? (laughs) (laughs) No, you know what's fucked up is when you have moments like that with animals. Like, you're having a dialogue, Mm -hmm. and yet people are just like, dude, that didn't fucking happen, bro. Like, no, that shit happened. There was an exchange of information there. (laughs) Like, you're you're showing me those mooses 
with me. So where the fuck do you call multiple mooses? Moose. Yeah, like you see, he has you got moose in front of your fucking house, a couple moose in front of your house. And I'm sure there was a little visual. Hey, I'm gonna go back up in here, yeah, because. You, I think you promised to stomp my ass if I get closer. Yeah, no, the mama moose was clearly saying, if you get off that porch, it's your ass. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make sure you and me agree on the fact that that's going to be your ass if you get off the porch. Dude, imagine this for just a moment. He, This guy told me this fucking story because you're originally from Alaska, right? No. No, Portland. Well, you, how, you live there for a long time. Uh, yeah, yeah. So... He's quite an adventurer. He's an outdoorsman, does hiking, fucking trail running, all that shit. He tells me this story one time way back in the day, because he's your age. I don't know if you realize this by the, uh -oh. you know, the quicksilver hair he's got. Going. I look like Mike Pence and Steve Martin had a kid. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I love it when guests describe themselves. Yeah. So I'm on the radio. You got to know how white this is over here. Yeah. So he's like rolling through whichever park and stop. And you can kind of pick this up as you start to form the story here. He's rolling through this park in like an old school Honda and this fucking brown bear just like saunters out across and he fucking stops. He's got, and he said this thing a just park, A park where? Oh, this is the, uh, in Southern Oregon, there's the, the wildlife adventure park that you drive into the cages. With oh, fucking okay, bears. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm driving a can of tuna and he's. Why, why would you take a Honda <laughs> Civic into a wildlife adventure no, park? I didn't understand like, what I was getting into. Like, uh, my like, girls know, when they were metal. Know. You know, and I'm going to be fucking racist, too. That's some white people shit. It is. It is. This little that's white girl. Real, that's some real. There was there was not a black man in the car behind you no. or in front of you. No. No. Just, there, there hadn't been one there in months. It's yeah, Southern yeah, Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, they're, and they're proud about it. America. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so, so you're, you're, I'm making bad decisions and, you know, falling around this white girl around Southern <laughs> Oregon. And she takes us into this part. And I got a, like a full, like, we're on a road trip in Southern Oregon. She's showing us her neck of the woods. And yeah. we, get, we get in this cage and they close, the, they close it behind us. And then there's. <laughs> they don't want them to get out. <laughs> yeah. And then there's giant grizzly bears. And, like, what are you supposed to do? Run for your life? <laughs> Fight it for your life? Is this Thunderdome? And. <laughs> We just sat there and like looked at the bears. The bears didn't look too interested in us. And then we left after like five minutes of staring at the bear. So they stood you in a cage with a bear. Yeah, yeah, I a giant you, bear. This I is bigger you, than the Honda. I thought you dr like drove through that shit. No, it is. The whole park is like a drive-through. It's like okay. a safari. Okay, it's wildlife safari. I think is the name of the place. And you go down there and you drive into the cages with the animals, and then you drive out. They tell you to keep your windows up, but I mean, that bear is big enough to where windows don't matter. Well, I remember, and I remember the first no, time you told white me, lives don't matter. <laughs> yeah. to the I remember bear. The, the first time you told me this story. Like I saw, I saw the intensity in your face. He said the bear just fucking stared at him, like working shit out. Like, how do I get into this fucking sardine can and just eat you? I bet, I bet the bear gave him a little check. Like, you know, if you don't make a move. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, you're, no, no. You're, no, fucking, the, you're fucking next. Yeah. The bear, like, <laughs> gave me a couple of sniffs. Is like, yeah, I'd eat you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't hungry. <laughs> but yeah, like, you can see fucking animals, like, working shit out. Like, that mm -hmm. fucking raccoon, dude. They're, he's like, yeah, all right. You, as long as you stay over there and I stay over here, we're okay. I'm going to go this way now. But, but with the bear, I think it's lack of fucks, too. Oh, I mean, yeah. a bear is like, I'm just gonna fuck you up because you're here. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're just, you're just fucking here. I don't, you know, I, I don't even eat humans, but god damn it, you got to die. <laughs> <laughs> you, you smell like delicious marijuana and cookies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but now, living living in Alaska, did you ever run into like some crazy like animal dialogue like that in the wild, like uh, not in your front yard? I mean, I had a, a bear that was pacing me up above the mountain as I was uh, traversing along with this lake. And I, I, he was doing it for too long. It's like, what are you doing, bro? Yeah. And then, uh, so I took a video of him and I uh, unstrapped my pistol and I was just waiting. And yeah. He just, he just went around me. He just gave me a wide berth and then went down towards the water. I think he was trying to sort out how to get past me without... Uh, without messing interacting, with, messing yeah. with me, yeah. <laughs> no, I think he's trying to flank you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought so too. I was like, dude, this guy's been here on my left for way too long, and I'm like, and I'm bushwhacking too through the alders. Yeah, there's these uh, six Boss. to nine foot trees that just block your view, and there's Not no sure. trail, and so I just knew I had to go that way. How, how'd you know he was there if it was that thick? Uh, occasionally, there's openings. I got it. Oh, on, okay. I got it on the video that I made. Is like he'd come out. Of the, you'd see him in a little bit of a clearing, then you go back into the trees, and you kind of guess where he's going to come out based mm. on his pace and then you'd see him come out in another clearing so is it is it true that I, and I don't know if you were downwind or not but is it true that you can smell them from like a long way off uh, they're smelly motherfuckers uh, but there's 
There's weird plants in Anchorage. I kept thinking that there were there was bears or something nearby that was like a smell like a wet dog. Yeah, but it's just some plant that's in the swampy areas. I there. never thought about how a bear smells. It smells like a what, a big wet dog. A big, I would assume yeah, a big nasty yeah. wet dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, because they don't they don't bathe or anything. You know, yeah. just yeah, dirty yeah. animals out there in the woods. Yeah, yeah. Well, and he is like, dude, if you don't kill me. Totally have your way with me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. right here behind this bush. Well, now, a buddy of mine, he's a local guy, but he's a hunter and he just you know very outdoorsy. And uh, isn't that not was, outdoorsy enough? This man was getting. Are you trying to? No, no, are no, you no. trying to one up? This man was getting no, no, paced no. by a bear. No, I'm saying this no, is not an episode this, of no, Grizzly this is, Adams. This is a local local <laughs> incident, though. Oh, so my, my there's buddy, bears here. The local tie-in. Would you shut up and let me fucking tell the story? Jesus, I'm getting scared. There's yeah. bears here. <laughs> Are Lions we safe are, here? Are we in a safe space? <laughs> no guns allowed. No. So my buddy, he's a local guy, and he local. goes, "I'm the captain now." Yeah, exactly, motherfucker. <laughs> so he goes out bow hunting with a couple of his buddies. And they got you know trail cam set up and all that, and so they set them up along this game trail, and they go back, and they're on their four-wheelers, and they check out their cameras to see if there's actually game, you know, walking these routes. And so two or three days go by, they check these cameras, and there's a fucking mountain lion stalking them along this game trail because they're constantly back and forth. Well, as they're watching this fucking video, they're like, oh, shit, we need to find this motherfucker because if he finds us, it's going to be bad news. So sure enough, they reset the trail cam, come around this fucking boulder, and there it is. It's just like in the middle of the trail. And cats, they they attack from behind. Like if you square up with them, they're kind of like, uh, I'm just gonna go over here and like do some shit. I'll be back. I learned something new today. Yeah. And so they they surprise attack. Cats are like primarily surprise attack unless they're in danger. Oh, oh yeah, because I, I I've definitely seen that like on yarn. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> laser lights and shit. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. In the oh, wild, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is funny because they always pace the laser light. They're like, no, no, I'm not gonna jump right on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they, they so like that's stalk it. Yeah. Sneak attack. And so it's sitting in the middle of this fucking game trail. And Birds are stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and it pops out. They pop out from behind this boulder and like startle the cat. And it's like a deer in fucking headlights. So my buddy, nice and slow, just like unracks his bow, fucking draws it back. And the cat like flinched. Like he knew what the fuck. It, like they had that little dialogue moment. Like either you go or you're going down. And the cat just fucking stood there and let him shoot it. Like, how fucking, dude, how crazy is that? Like, Cat's like, ah, you know what, fuck it. I've had a good run. Hell yeah. America. <laughs> America, bitch. <laughs> so what, what are you going to do about this fucking raccoon? Are you going to, like, are you going to train it? Are you going to tame it? What are you going to do? I don't know. I hadn't really thought that deep about it because I thought, you know, because raccoons, usually you, you'll see one in the yard and they'll just come, they'll go, fuck it. It's, it's, you know, it's, you see them every once in a while. This motherfucker has decided to take up residence, so I have to come up with a plan B. I was like, dang, it'd be great if I had a, you know, you know, if I had like a little pellet gun so I could just, you know, just knock, knock some I shit out of you them. train it. That way you can have a guard coon. No, I'm good. No? I'm good. No? Why, why not? Those things are vicious. They have uh, like he, rabies and shit. He might try and train him. The raccoon will be like, this is my place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, if you, that's the way he's acting. Yeah. Like that's, why I, place? that's why I'm treated. And I'm like a second class citizen <laughs> in my home because. You got to pay him rent. I, 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 I do. <laughs> Man, and you know his fucking late fee is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck around with the with the coon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it used to be three fifths of a white person, now you're four fifths of a raccoon. Yeah, I yeah. guess so. I mean <laughs> shit. I I need to get those uh 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 I need to get uh, one of those Batman masks or something like a Robin mask, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so I can I can match with my new leader. Yeah, that, that's true. He does have his little fucking Hamburglar mask going on already. So. Let's just get this out the way. Oh God, are you so, pregnant? No, I just I just want to say, I feel bad for Roseanne Barr. That Dude, she had I been, don't. That she has to stay home and you and, feel that and roll around on her millions. Yeah, I feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> you remember that scene in Ducktales when he's just like swimming in gold? Yeah, that's the Scrooge McDuck movie. Yeah. Swimming yeah. in your millions. Yeah. yeah, that's all she's doing. That's all she's doing. I mean, she's still gonna be rich. Fuck yeah, dude. So she basically compares Valerie Jellet, Jarrett, one of the advisors to Obama, mm-hmm. to being a mix between some kind of Muslim shit and uh, and a character from Planet of the Apes. And I actually saw a side by side side by side picture comparison. <laughs> and Valerie Jarrett too. does look like this character from Planet of the Apes. That's what I'm gonna, I want to see the side by side, dude. Listen, you like, can't. You is, can't does argue, Roseanne have a point here? You can't argue with science, dude. That's all I'm really gonna say. I mean. 
there's you know there's things you can be like eh you know maybe but no this is a pretty legitimate comparison I know, as a comedian right it's it's a tough line to toe you, you you like to flirt with that line of being a racist and making a joke you know if I would like to say if Bill Maher still has a job after he dropped the the freaking in bomb oh yeah, yeah here's a picture here's a comparison yeah, dude they're still playing the Cosby show man Cosby's been found no, but guilty they, 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 okay uh, that's rape that's less important than racism <laughs> <laughs> well, there's rule number one broken. Oh, wow. <laughs> How about we just talk about prostate cancer now? Hmm. This is a test of the emergency broadcasting system. <laughs> no, the just... Broadcasters of your area, in voluntary cooperation with federal, state, and local authorities, have developed. We're just going to fucking reset the show right now. No. <laughs> As a result of what we're watching, that is what is apparent. Yeah, that's true. Well, they did pull Roseanne off, uh, off of Hulu. And I was I like watching all episodes of Roseanne. Fuck it. They, I mean, it's I good. It's Roseanne's good to see. Fucking hilarious. It's great to see white people struggle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found that to be. I mean, because like in that, if you think about you know that time, I got to see prosper prosperous black people on one channel turn to the other. Hey, white people struggling. I'm like, goddamn. There's some balance. At least, in, <laughs> at least in the creative world, there's some fucking balance. See what what was your prosperous black show of choice the fucking Cosby's Cosby's yeah oh, okay Ra- rapeaholics no <laughs> <laughs> no the reason I ask is Cause because because you know Lisa Bonet's like oh he was creepy <laughs> bitch you yeah you, you, you. yeah the, during the moments you were awake he was yeah, creepy yeah, bitch yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean hey, you were banging out Lenny Kravitz <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no because my my white American prosperous show of choice was home improvement with Tim Allen mm. and we all know why he fell off because he went on racist rants himself yeah, Tim Allen, I, I didn't think Home Improvement was that bad. I no, mean, I loved it. It was a fucking great show. It was hilarious. I, you, you know, if I had some time to waste, it was yeah. on, like, you know, if I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there in the early 2000s because I didn't watch Home Improvement in its original run, and I have to choose between Friends and Home Improvement, I'm going to Home Improvement. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because at least, at least I know that motherfucker hates me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I mean, you know, Friends, I mean, Friends is like the adult version of Full House. With Home Improvement, at least you have power tools. Well, Steve Urkel never showed up on Friends. That's true. That <laughs> Wait, was he supposed to? He was on Full House. They oh, did. Yeah? They, it was TG, it was TGIF back in oh, the day. Okay. They so did they don't mix up little crossover episodes. Yeah, crossover. yeah. 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 I remember. Yeah, he shows up. He's like, "Let's do the Urkel dance." Yeah. <laughs> if you have not seen this episode of Full House, like if you're watching the Netflix show, then you're a piece of shit because you know that show's horrible. <laughs> but <laughs> if you need a back in the day moment, Steve Urkel shows up on Full House and does the Urkel dance. It's fucking ridiculous. You know. Speaking of, not, I, not, I will find a video clip of that and post it on our not, Facebook. Not, page. not, not Stefan. Steve. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not Stefan Urkel. Fucking asshole. The whole reason to watch the new Full House season is to see how hot Kimmy Gibbler got. Dude, Kimmy Gibbler, I've always had a little man crush on her. Oh, yeah. Which one is Kimmy Gibbler? That, she that was, was her friend, friend that came over. Yeah. Oh, you talk about ugly duckling. Yeah. yeah. Boy, I, that'd be an annoying like, one. Yeah. yeah, that looked like that was going nowhere yeah. fast. <laughs> <laughs> and I can say that because she's almost in my age range. She's about your age, isn't she? Uh, she's a little bit older than me. She's put, you know, mm. mid, th- mid to late 30s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, she's close enough. But hey, oh, so hey, 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 oh, hold on, hold on. I, I, I got to berate some babes oh, from back Jesus in the day. Christ. What the fuck happened to Topanga? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. my God. I never, saw, never thought that was going to happen. Wait, wait, what happened to her? Is she not hot anymore? I just, I just jerk off to her attractive photos, so I don't know yeah. if she's ugly Well, she's 16 in those, so good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was a grown-ass man going, fuck, Topanga. <laughs> <laughs> It's between her. I mean, I, I, I'll be real with you. I was very happy when I found out the oldest girl on Modern Family was like old. Yeah. Because I was like, dude, you look. I can't watch the show. <laughs> Danielle Fisher. <laughs> Who, to, Topanga? Yeah. Yeah, Topanga looks to tired. Dude. Oh, <laughs> dude. Okay. I, so I got to know. Mr. Sweeney was like, I don't want to be on the show with that tired home. <laughs> yeah, but, she's like one of those intense looking chicks that got some work done. Oh, yeah, dude. She looks uh, worn out. It? She yeah, was worn out, dude. Wow, she tried to keep that original look. I mean, there was something she needed. There, she needs a spray tan, and then there was something so genuine about it in the '90s. But now, I'm oh like, yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't want that, dude. Okay, so I gotta ask. We're gonna we're gonna wrap the show up on this. I gotta ask: Gabrielle Union or Jennifer Aniston? That's a today tough. or back in the day? Right now, right now. Jennifer Aniston is still pretty fucking yeah, hot. Yeah, I mean, every smoking. time I like, if I need if if I need to get going. Hey, I, I, I'm sorry the white girl won this week because if I put on horrible bosses, 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you have not seen Horrible Bosses, like yeah, oh, yeah. if you if you if you're you're like, oh, this this white girl chasing motherfucker, hey, throw any Gabrielle Union movie, then throw on Horrible Bosses. Because Jennifer Aniston, it, it, I don't know what Gabrielle Union's gonna look like in ten years, but Jennifer Aniston has really held it together. Because Courtney Cox Looks, <laughs> looks like a, a bag of cocks put together with fucking duct tape. <laughs> she looks like she got courted by a bag of dicks. Now, when I start saying people look like a bag of cocks, then it is time for me to get out of here. <laughs> Yo, oh, so you already know, so it's about that time to go. This is the Hype Podcast. I am the host of No Name. I'm DJ Oh So Fresh with Yo, special guest, Jason, Jason DeBaugh. Yeah, there you go. Thanks for coming on the show today, so bro. security number is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, it was fun to be disparaging to Topanga because you know what? That's disappointing. No, don't meet your heroes. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> yeah, and shout out to Fortress Property Management, handling all your property management needs in the Portland metro area. Check them out at fortresspropertymgmt.com or you can hit them up 503 752 8519. Check them out. Fortress Property Management, all your property management needs for the Portland metro area. And, you know, some shit happened during the middle of the show. And I, I, I'm gonna I'm come back and I will, I will run that down next week. Because, <laughs> you know, I, unexpected. Unexpected shit. Unexpected. Traffic. If we had a, uh, I had a new tenant, a temporary tenant. So, uh, once again, this is the Hype Podcast. This is the podcast after the podcast. And I have to say, I give no fucking fucks what Roseanne Barr said on Twitter. I thought the show was good. It was good to see everybody back, and damn, Becky looks like that chick that you would meet at a Mexican bar and totally bend over. It's the Hype Podcast. It's time to go. Fuck it. We'll do it live. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck it. Good luck.